So in order for us to run our all-in-one probe calibration, we're gonna start off by going to the edit mode and go into our VPS menu by changing our tab up top to our visual programming system. Once we're in our VPS, we're gonna go to our probing routines by highlighting probing and pressing the right arrow key. We're gonna get into our calibration by going down to calibration, pressing the right arrow key once again. We're gonna do the complete all-in-one probe calibration by pressing the enter button. You'll notice there's no more top hat in this column. That means I have to get into this mode by pressing the enter button. Once I'm in the enter button, it's gonna tell me to jog the tool above the tool setter. I normally jog it about a quarter inch, just as they recommend it here. You'll notice inside the machine, I've got our master tool sitting about a quarter inch above. We also need to get you a part number and a price on this master tool that is available for you to purchase. So we're gonna jog about a quarter inch above and tell the control we're doing that. It's gonna ask me for the length of the calibration tool. Now based on this master tool, this master tool is five inches and six tenths. It's stated right on the tool itself. So I'll tell it that the length is 5.0006 six tenths. The diameter on this particular part or this particular probe is actually 0 0.5004. The calibration tool number, it's always gonna default to the tool that's in the spindle. So this one was tool number 23. Spindle orientation, if your probe is on the right hand side of your table, you're gonna put a positive number two right here. If it's on the left hand side of the table, you're gonna put a negative two into that box. Probe tool number, our particular probe tool number in this machine is tool number 24. Now once I fill in this information, I can run this in MDI by simply pressing the cycle start button. Once we press cycle start, the master tool is going to be touched three times onto the top of the tool setter. That teaches the length of the master tool. Traveling very slow in Z right now. Now it's going to walk the master tool and teach all four sides of the tool setter. This teaches the location of the tool setter and also the trigger points of that stylus. We're going to make a tool change to the spindle probe and now we're going to start calibrating the spindle probe. The first thing the spindle probe needs is what is the length of the spindle probe itself. We're going to get a reference diameter first off the tool setter and then this is the actual touch process where we're going to teach the length of the spindle probe. You'll notice once this is completed, then the tool setter will turn off, the spindle probe will turn on. You can see the green LEDs running, and now it's actually calibrating the trigger points of the spindle probe now. The tool probe calibration is completely finished. is going to make a tool change back to your master tool and then it's going to finish up the program. Okay, so after calibrating your probe, there's two more steps that I want to show you and one is to actually go to your offsets page 
can actually go to the spindle probe itself, which in the case of this machine is tool number 24. I'm going to arrow over to the right multiple times until I get to the second page of information. And I'm going to go to what's called the tool type. It's very important to define that tool type as the probe itself. And you're going to do that by choosing choice number seven down at this area right here. So I highlighted that tool type. I pressed the number seven. It now becomes the probe. The reason why that's important to define is when you're setting up jobs, you're, you're going to have all of these different tool lengths, all of this different setup information. Some operators want to use the origin button to clear all of these offsets and start from scratch. If I press the origin button, it's going to give me multiple choices. The number one thing I would want to do if I wanted to clear all my tool offsets was to clear tool offsets except the probe. That's choice number five. If I've got the probe properly defined and I choose number five, then my probing length is not gonna be lost during this process.